Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. So let's take a look again on your currency. So yesterday actually we've got the completion of the two different scenarios. First, if you remember, we discussed the potential short entry uh, for those who are searching chance to go short on the daily chart around 1 rate 35, 1 rate 40, which actually is of the confidence resistance on the full time frame chart. And simultaneously we just briefly have talked about the possible scalp long position with the same target, I mean 1 rate 35, but based on the pattern that is forming still on the intraday charts. And you can see on the uh, CPI report we've got the healthy spike precisely to the confidence resistance on the fault time chart. And actually this both scenarios have been done properly. Um, those of you who was able to take the position around the confidence well, uh, that's great. So you could just move stops to the break and see what will happen. If market suddenly will show a bit deeper retracement, well, in this case, it will be another chance to go short. Uh, those who are still watching for a possible upper bounce, here we're still keep watching on the pattern that is forming right now on the hourly chart. But let's go for all the stuff step by step. First of all, on a daily chart, uh, here's just we see minor pullback here. If we'll take a look at the dollar index once again, cross market analysis, we see that it was accompanied with this spike down, some minor tick inside of the shoulder. So market still forming some action around the shoulder. From that standpoint, theoretically, many things depend right now on um, Federal Reserve statement and the European Central Bank actually as well. But it is not, it seems not impossible that market could spend a bit more time around the shoulder flirting around for a couple of sessions before uh, the growth of the United States dollar starts, at least if we rely on this pattern. So from that standpoint, it means that on the euro currency, especially if Fed comments will be dovish and European Central Bank comments will be a bit inspiring for the euro, euro could show second uh, attempt to make the upside bounce, upside retracement. Now here is just uh, two moments. First of all, I do not expect that Fed will be too dovish. It's just because by taking a look at recent statistics that we've got, including the payrolls, I'm not even mentioning the gross domestic product of the 5% growth, and actually CPI numbers. Yes, there was around, it, uh, there were around uh, expectations, but with a stubborn holding the rate around 5.5%, you do not see significant drop in inflation. So it stands around three, uh, even month on, on uh, month over month number has been one decimal point above the ex uh, expectations. And all this stuff together doesn't give too much space for the Fed to uh, really turn to the dovish scenario. So they probably repeat all the same stuff, higher for longer and um, worry about that uh, still there are some factors that force us to keep the rate at the high level and so on. As usual, what does John Powell tell? That's why uh, the major hope for the euro currency mostly relates to the European Central Bank. Maybe they will tell something. We will see. Uh, but potentially, this pattern that we have on the dollar index is a bearish for the euro currency. And uh, if nobody will provide some support to the euro, it's probably dollar index could start rising and a second chance of the retracement on the euro currency will not be completed. So here, unfortunately, we totally depend on external factors. That's just how things stand. Um, but we already have got our chance yesterday with the retracement. And uh, well, let's see just whether we'll get the second one. On the follow time frame chart, here's, by the way, the spike that I have talked about right to the confluence. All grabbers have been completed because this stuff has been taken out. And uh, currently, the major intrigue stands around the hand shoulders pattern that we already talked about. Let's take a look. That it is. 
So yesterday we said that if you'd like to buy, you probably could do it right here, hiding stops either below this area or at least below that one, because here it has to move higher right from these points. And mostly this trade is done with this spike as well. Currently, as you can see, market is forming kind of the right arm of this pattern. And uh, if you're still considering taking the long position on intraday charts, uh, suggesting that it might be some kind of A, B, C to the upside, maybe it, it really will be if, as I said, decisions of the central banks will be supportive. An area that we need to keep an eye on is approximately of uh, 1 or 765, somewhere in front of this cross of the left shoulder stand right there. So, and see what will happen. If market will start dropping through it, coming back to the lows, it means that no hand shoulders and no second leg will happen. I mean, no second part of the retracement will happen. If somehow there will be some supportive information from central banks, market starts bouncing up, forming the right arm, that might be used for a scalp long position. Uh, as usual, we deal with the head and shoulders trading. So all, all the same stuff. So that's actually all things that we could say about the current situation in euro. If you have taken short position here, you could hold it, just move stops to the break even. Uh, because in the case of the higher retracement, you will be out on the break even and you will get chance to take position at the better price. If market will start dropping, that's okay. So because we, we've got the retracement that we actually we have discussed in even last week. Uh, so for the bulls, I already have explained everything about the hand and shoulders. So those of you who are interested with that, just keep watching for the pattern and see what will happen. And that's probably all for now. Um, let's see what we'll get on the Jerome Powell statement.